Welcome back. Let's keep going with our ABC method calculation of the full absorption costs for our um, short example. It's a lengthy one, but I will try to insist on it because this is basically the core of, uh, of the F5 to understand how costing works. So the setup costs for our uh, product A and B will be calculated based on the, the amount of the level of the um, uh, cost per activity. And that will be $100 for a setup for a product. Now, product A requires one setup for each patch that is manufactured, and we manufactured 12 patches out of it. So we have basically 12 patches multiplied by $100. That will amount up to $1,200. In, in case of product B, it's a little bit more because we have two setups for each patch and we have 120 patches. So it will be two multiplied by 120 patches multiplied by the $100. And that will amount up to $24,000. Note that the total of the two allocated costs will be $25,000, I will write a different color, $25,200. That is exactly the amount that we started with, that we started to allocate, yes? And it has to be always the same. We always have to end up with just, we are just allocating overheads according to a different method. The total of them shall always be the same, right? So let's keep going. Parts handling. Parts handling will depend on the number of parts that we are dealing with. And that is one for each of um, the products A and three for each of products B. So that means 1,200 for product A multiplied by the $25 and 3,600 parts for product B, amounting up to a total of 30,000 in case of product A and 90,000 in terms of product B a total of $120,000. Our next cost, other materials handling. Other materials handling will be depending on the batches that we are dealing with for each product, that is 12 for product A and B for, uh, 120 for product B, and it costs $40 a batch. So 12 for product A, by the $40 per batch, that will amount to $480. And 120 for product B, that will amount up to $4,800. A total of $5,280. Going forward, the other handling, that we still have for the orders that is allocated based on the number of the orders that is 10 for product A and 60 for product B and cost per order is 25 so the total cost for product A is $250 for product B is amounting up to a total of $1,750. And the remaining amount of the overheads, the other overhead that could not be allocated to any kind of activities, that is divided or allocated to two products based on the number of labor hours that uh, we worked, and that is $1,200 for product A and $2,400 for product B, and the cost is $100 per Hour. So it's 1,200 for product A and 2,400 for product B, amounting up to a total of $120,000 for product A and $240,000 for product B. That is a total of 360000 amounting up to a total on the product level of $151,930 for product A and $360,300 for product B and a total of $512,230.
that is the total overheads that we started with to allocate. Now note that these costs per product, 151,000 and 360,300 are for the total production of A's and B's. You could have also done it on a unit level, but it's very complicated since the costs per activities are not resulting in a unit, on a unit level, but on the cost driver level. And it's not equivalent. One cost driver is not equivalent to one unit. So that's why I did it for you on the total level. It's easier like this. Then we are going to divide it on the, by the total number of units produced, and we are going to find out what is the overhead absorbed by each unit. Okay, so we have a total production, the annual production, production, that's a quantity, is 1,200 A's and 1,200 B's. It will mean that the, oops, sorry, that the overheads allocated per unit will amount up to $127 for product A and $300 for product B. Now, if we add this together with the direct costs, that is $12 for a product A and $24 for a product B, we are going to end up with a full production cost according to the ABC method of $139 for product A and $324 for a product B. Comparing this to the total full production cost using the traditional method that we calculated just above of $154 and $309 for a product B, we can draw the conclusions and we can highlight the advantages and disadvantages of using ABC method. Probably I would start with the advantages of uh, calculating the uh, total full production costs using the ABC method. One of them would be obviously that it's a more fair method. It's a fairer method to allocate costs because we allocate them based on the actual level of the activities. As you've seen, for example, if you take just one example, the handling costs. Those are allocated in the ABC method based on the number of the orders for, that we have for each product. The number of the orders is significantly different for A and B. It is 10 for A and 60 for B. If we allocate those according to the total labor hours, basically it has nothing significant in it. The total number of labor hours that we work for A and B is not directly related to the number of the orders. So we are basically allocating more costs to A than to B when we use traditional method because of this factor, because we just allocate them using the labor hours. This is not fair because in such way, um, the costs of uh, the producing B are compensated by A. They are taken over by product A. So if we are in a very competitive market and we are using cost plus uh, basis for delivering our products, it will be not fair because our competition, competitors might use ABC calculation, they have a very fair picture and very clear picture on the costs and they are pricing the products on a fair basis compared to us. However, one of the main disadvantages that you've seen um, during this question is the difficulties that companies will face when they are trying to identify these activities and the cost drivers. In such a simple example, it's fairly easy to identify them, but in a more complicated real-world example, it is not so easy. Just imagine how many products can be manufactured by a company, how many activities can be identified, and how many cost drivers must be identified for those, acti for those activities. On the other hand, the cost drivers might not be identified in a very accurate manner, and then the whole image of the cost calculation might be uh, disturbed. Also, please note that this is a, a very costly um, manner of calculating costs. Um, systems has to be set up by the management to be able to calculate the cost in such manner and that's not always the acceptable method uh, by companies. So they would rather prefer to use traditional methods or mix of methods in uh, real life. Nevertheless, I wanted to go through you with this, through this example to um, make sure that you fully understand the ABC method. 
and see you then in the next videos dealing with further examples on uh, costing methods.